What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a collective reading. So we're going to tap in and see what's going on in the collective. Okay. Um. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Uh, what was I going to say? There is a lot of like, the first part I pulled out was bring love into the situation new moon in Aquarius so there's a lot of people who need love right now it is a lot of like people who are like thirsty for love you know what I'm saying it's a lot of people who want to feel that warmth they want to feel safe they want to feel love they want to feel protected they want to feel some sort of affection and I feel like that shit is like at this point, that shit is like searching for a diamond in a haystack. You know what I'm saying? Or a needle in a haystack, as they say. Um, that pure, genuine love. Um, there's a lot of resentment, a lot of grudge holding going on in the collective. So I feel like that's why this card came out, bring love into the situation. This card also can indicate it's just something is over here. It's like there is no going back to something. Like there is no way that you could even do it if you wanted to. Like it's literally a wrap. So there could be an Aquarius involved here. Or some of you are an Aquarius. So you have Aquarius placements. And I don't think we're getting ready to have a new moon too. I don't know when it is though. You might have to Google like new moon in um January because I don't know when it is, but I feel like it's coming close. Um, And then this is the card I got. I haven't got this card in a long ass time. Number 19, Parasite. Wow. So number 19 breaks down to a 10. Like I said, 10s represent completion. Like something is over here. It's like a permanent ending. Um, But this card... This is like a strong, in like this card is like indicative of like extreme codependency. Um, this card can indicate somebody who is like they lack self efficiency. So this is somebody who they lack the belief that they have what it takes to accomplish their goals and shit. So this is somebody who's very codependent. I always feel like they need someone. You know, this is somebody who is like. I just feel like with Parasite, I feel like this person has been, like, this person has been hosted. So, they have a lot of, like, like energetic attachments or people attached to them that feeds off their energy. And I feel like they feed off of other people's energy. This is, like, somebody who's extremely codependent and somebody who's very toxic, low vibrational. It's like, this is like when you get so used to a toxic environment that you just don't care. You know, you don't protect your energy. You don't care who you're around. You just let people feed off you, attach to you to the point where now it's like a parasite. Like this person, they could be sick for some of you. It's like their mentality, the way that they think, the way that they live life. It's just like, and this is the same person out here that's wanting this love energy from the collective. But it's like this person is like, they are parasitic. Like this person will make you sick with parasites here. It's like they got so many demonic attachments. This could be somebody who has hair. They can have long hair. It could be like they could be like a loose natural, or they could have dreads, but they don't have to. Yeah, but I feel I really strongly feel like this person has been hosted. Like something is attached to them and feeding off of them. Like, ooh, it feels kind of gross too. So I don't know. Let's see what's going on here for the collective. And this is the ick. So, yeah, this person is, like, heartbroken. They're sad, crying over spilled milk. They could be depressed. 
Uh, they could be crying. It says the ick. They could feel sick or they feel like a setback is here. Scorpio energy. I told you that Scorpio energy is the death energy. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know, like, spirit is, like, I, I'm I'm seeing, like, spirit is showing me, like, a, a swamp or something. Like, I don't know what the fuck that's about, a swamp. Like, what the fuck? I feel like this person is, like, they're just in a cesspool filled with toxic people. It's, like, there's no light around this person. So, I don't know if these are, like, toxic as family members and shit. It's, like, they've been cut off from the light. There is no energetic supply for them to feed off of other than the same toxic motherfuckers just like them. It's like, so this person may not be feeling well. They could feel sick or icky for some reason. What's the message here? Yeah, it says Queen of Vibes here. So, this is the Queen of Wands here. So, Aries Leo Sagittarius. It says Baddie, Mastering Feminine Energy. So, a lot of you are standing in your power or you've taken your power back from a person. Um, Some of you could be BBW, but it doesn't have to be. But I feel like you're in control. Like, you're ambitious. You're confident. It's like you're heading towards your dreams, your success. I told you, the Queen of Wands is somebody who... Um, she could be outside living her best life. Not act, not like city girl energy. City, city girl energy would be the queen of wands reverse, meaning that you just outside doing ratchet shit, just being loud, ghetto, uncouth. The queen of wands upright is like she be outside. You know what I'm saying? If you invite her somewhere, she definitely gonna come. She gonna show up. She gonna look good. She gonna pop her shit. But she not finna be on no on the whole shit basically so yeah i feel like you're confident you're looking good a lot of you are sexy you're attractive right now let's see what's going on here queen of wands i feel like you feel confident about the new year about your goals your aspirations your dreams you may feel like you have the energy to do all of these things with the queen of wands it's like you're really powering forward or powering up Yeah, we got the page of thoughts. It says teletherapist receiving a message. So some of you can have like a therapist that's like online. Um, but yeah, this is the page of swords. So this is somebody who it's like it says receiving a message. So you can get a message from somebody. It could be an air sign, but the page of swords is somebody who's been watching you spying lurking looking at you via social media. This person could give you this person could send you a message or they reach out to you to try to say something here with the page of swords. It's like somebody's been thinking about you like real shit. That's too many cards. Let's see. four of swords it says self-care manifesting results so the four of swords is like you know resting sleeping meditating so for some of you this message may come in while you're asleep somebody plans on messaging the queen of wands while you're resting while you're getting your beauty rest while you're laying down taking a nap or something like that this message may come through or the four of swords is also like prayer and meditation so this message may come through when you're like praying or meditating or just in a very like rest and relaxation mode. Um, let's see. What cards do I want to pull here? Let's see. The keeper has to say. So a lot of you are protecting your energy. Four swords. You're getting more sleep, getting more rest, prayer, meditating. I'm hearing um some of you play music at night before you go to bed and shit. Yeah, look at that. Look, 19 is significant. Look at that. The coffin and a death card. And then number 19 is here and number 19 is here. 
1919 could be significant. Yeah, some of you are moving on to a relationship or a partnership. I feel like something in your past is like, like really fucking over. Like, man, it's like you're whoever this person is from your past. I mean, that's it. You're never going to get back with this person. You're never going to. It's like it's really a fucking wrap. Yeah, this person is under judgment with this karmic feminine energy. It's like they can't come back towards you. You're being paired with somebody else with the lover's energy here. Now let's see. What's the message here for the collective? Yeah, toil and labor. This is like the Eight of Pentacles energy. So a lot of you are, you're hard at work. Like I said, you're putting in that time. You're putting in that effort. A lot of you are working on a lot of things. You could literally be at work. Some of you have been working overtime. You've just been putting in that work. You've been in grind mode. You're perfecting your skill set. You're working on your business. You're pushing out product. Whatever it is that you fucking do, I feel like you've been honed into that shit. Perfecting your shit, practicing something here, whatever this may be. It's like you've just really been like focused on your work, staying busy. So you, I'm hearing multitasking, so you can just have just doing a lot of shit at once, but you're getting it done with toil and labor here. Let's see what's the message here. Man, look, look at that occupation <laughs> and in the toilet labor. Some of y'all are working so hard at something. That's why you can be tired. Or you're just like, damn, I need a good night's rest, a good night's sleep. So be mindful. Make, it, make sure that you have that balance. If you've been working a lot, make sure that you're getting proper rest, okay? Because you don't want to, like, zap yourself out or burn yourself out and shit. But I feel like you're in the Queen of Wands energy. I feel like... You got to get up and go right now. You feel like you got the energy to go. Yeah, look at that mature woman. Period. I feel like you handling business. I feel like the new year is off to a good start for you. You definitely been putting in work, okay? Occupation, toil and labor. Like you've been in grind mode, getting shit done, okay? Yeah, some of you, this could be working on a new relationship. This marriage card keeps coming out. This could be you working on a new relationship or you could be working on your marriage with somebody. If you're already married or you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or something, you could be working on that situation. But I said, if you're married or you're in a relationship, I feel like you're with somebody who hasn't betrayed you or did you dirty before. Like, nah, that's not the person that you're with. If you're with someone it's not this parasitic person from your past who just really fucked you over. Like, nah, you're either with somebody new or you're dating somebody new or this is like somebody that you might have reconciled with where it was just bad timing, but now y'all reconnecting. It, it's like new energy when it comes to this marriage or partnership. It could be this person could be somebody that you're going to marry. If you're into that, yeah, expectation is out here. And for some of you, that's what you're expecting. You have your sights set on. The next relationship that I get into is going to lead to marriage. It's going to lead to a true partnership, a commitment. Yeah, that's what you're expecting. You're the privileged fucking lady. You're just like, nah, like, I'm the empress. I only do serious commitments and serious relationships. None of that weird ass shit. Yeah, thief card, yeah. So, yeah, you got somebody lurking around, trying to steal your energy. I don't know who this is. Why is the thief card here? Somebody wants to steal something from a privileged lady? Why? Yeah, gift. Yeah, so this is somebody who's acting like they got something to offer you. Thief with a gift card. This is somebody pretending that they got an offer for you. They got a gift for you, but they're really coming to take something from you. Because I'm telling you, this person, they're in an environment where it's just nothing but toxicity. They don't have access to a, a divine being. 
They don't have access to a divine masculine or a divine feminine anymore. They don't have access to you. This person needs another dose. They need a refill. They need something to boost their energy because now they're just stuck in this cesspool of, so of toxicity. Like real shit, bring love into this situation. This person wants you to love them or something here. Yeah, because imprisonment is on the bottom of the deck. 15, 15 on the timer. This person's in prison. This is like the Eight of Swords energy. They're experiencing a lot of anxiety, a lot of self-sabotage. They, they feel like they're stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. They don't know how to fix something or get out of something. For some of you, this could be spiritual jail because judication is right behind that. Him, this masculine energy and this karmic feminine energy, you take it as it resonates because it's a man and this woman on this card. So this is talking about the karmic femme and the karmic masculine. They are in spiritual jail. Eight of Swords, they're both feeling stuck, trapped. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to get out of this. A lot of their ass could be going to court for shit. Or they're just having to answer to spiritual counsel for what the fuck they've been out here doing. Yeah, real shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like neither one of these people have access to you anymore. It's like they are heavily under judgment. Like real shit. Let's see here. What's the message? What's the message with the collective? Yeah, I feel like you are just like taking it all in. I feel like you are just so grateful to the most high for just like freeing you from this situation or getting you out of this shit, whatever this is. Yeah, look at that. I told you. Missed opportunity. It's, it's a done deal. It's a wrap. This person... There is, there, there will be no reconciliation. There is no second chance. There is no coming back together in this lifetime. It's just won't, it's not, maybe not even the next lifetime. Because like I said, this person, this is this person that we've been talking about in these readings for like, shit, weeks, months, if not years, they just refuse to do the fucking work. So it's like, yeah, you don't, you don't got no more time. This person's out of time, and you don't got no more time to be waiting on this person. Yeah, family man. I feel like this person wanted a family with you, but they're not going to get that. <laughs> like, real shit. They're not going to get a family with you. Some of you have created and started your own family and shit, or you will be. Look at that empress. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, empress, those of you feminine energies that have made it to empress status, you are being taken off the market. These karmic masculines and these karmic feminines, they don't have access to you. A lot of you are coming in contact with divine counterparts, people that you can actually build with, grow with, um, heal in healthy love. Like these people that have missed opportunities with you and haven't done the work, they're just asked out. They have to do the work. So their their journey is, is going to be different. There, there is no getting out of doing the work while you living and breathing and walking on this earth. Is, is, that's what you're that's what we as human beings come down come to earth to experience, to grow, to elevate, to 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 become better versions of ourselves. If you're not down here learning, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why these people are under judgment. This is this is like judgment. It's like being called out. It's like spirit is calling you out, pointing at you like, what have you learned? What have you been doing? We've been calling you. Why have you not answered? Like, so it's just like somebody here, they've been called to judgment and they don't got no explanation as to why they haven't been fucking doing the work. They still have to do it anyway, regardless of whatever the fuck their excuse is. So now you're moving on. A lot of you are getting into relationships with men and women who actually want families, men and women who actually want to plant seeds and build a legacy, men and women who actually want to bring back the family dynamic and uh, break generational curses and people who actually desire marriage and want to be together and shit. It's like you're leveling up and getting involved in shit like that. Starting your own families and shit procreating and manifesting and shit the empress is a lot of fertility out here so you're definitely 
manifesting. Some of you could be ovulating. Yeah, like it, it's time. <laughs> like it's time. It, it's no more time to wait on this person. You have to move forward. You're coming out as the Empress Divine Feminine. I heard twice in two different decks. You have to. I mean, you've reached like there's no there's no woman in the deck higher than the Empress. She's all four queens in one. You've mastered yourself to such a level to now it's time for you to manifest, to build your legacy, to step into your purpose. Some of you are already doing that. Some of you are a mother already. You're a good mother too with the Empress. You love and take care of your kids. Some of you are already married or I feel like you're going to be building a family with this family man. Yeah, look at this karmic feminine energy. Look at this karmic feminine energy and this karmic man. Uh, karmic fem is out here crying, feeling vulnerable, feeling exposed. Feeling sad, all in her feelings and shit. She doesn't look happy, does she? And then look at this nigga. He's still walking around. I don't need love. I'm good. I da da da. da. Self sufficient. Sure you are. It's like both of these. A Cancer and Gemini could be significant. But look at that. Look, she's crying and feeling sad and twenty one twenty one on the timer. And he just trying to pretend like he doesn't care all in his ego and shit. It's like these people just don't get it. And like, look at you. The Empress, you've grown and these people haven't. It's like they're just, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people. Like, it's like they've just been taught wrong or they just don't understand something or they don't get it. Yeah, I feel like this karmic feminine energy is trying to save face now. I feel like the karmic fem and the karmic masculine are like broken up or they're separating. Some of them could be divorcing, they're separating, they're moving house. A lot of them are not living together and shit anymore. It's like over. I feel like the karmic fem is trying to save face. It's like she's finally being forced to heal. Like, bitch, you can't just chase after no masculine. You have to work on yourself. Chasing after a man is not going to get your ass nowhere. But the only thing it's going to do is build up negative karma that you're going to have to pay. You're going to accumulate karmic debt for chasing after a man that does not want you. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Men and masculines are very, very simple. Okay? there, There is no guesswork when it comes to them. Like, you know if a man is interested in you by if he's showing interest. If he's not showing interest in you, bitch, that means he's not interested. He doesn't like you. You're never... It's, it's no gray areas. It, it's either it is or it isn't. If you meet a man and he's not showing interest, meaning he's not calling you, he's not consistent, he's not asking you on a date, he doesn't make time for you, he's not considerate of your feelings, he's not trying to get to know you, he's literally putting in the minimal amount of effort, he's not that interested. Like, what don't you understand about that? So now she didn't chase this man, then did all this shit, and look at him. Chunking up the deuces, like, bobbage, like, still doing the same shit. Acting like he don't care about nothing. But, you know, you know how they get down, shit. Let's see. It's like, motherfuckers. But he, did, he knows he didn't miss the opportunity with you, though. So, I don't know. This person, their ego is out of control. Still trying to act like they're not hurt. Still trying to act like they don't care. They're like, they're not in love with you. Okay, cool. You do that. Divine feminine, divine masculine is moving on. So, you can keep pretending or doing that as much as you want to. Because this shit is just... I feel like we're getting to the end of talking about these people, these karmics and shit, especially the one that did you dirty. I feel like these readings are getting ready to shift. It's going to be more about your current relationship, your career and shit like that because these people, this shit is over with. It's like you've learned your lesson, you've grown, you've leveled up, it's time to move on. Let's see. 
Yeah, tragedy, forbidden love. Yep. This is this karmic feminine energy. Now she's embarrassed. Now she's in shame, ashamed, feeling like this love was forbidden or she shouldn't have never loved this person or been with this person. Or, you know, now she doesn't want to be seen as karmic feminine. So a lot of these karmic films, they could be they could be deactivating their social media pages and shit or not really wanting to be seen. You don't see them out for real like you used to. Yeah, look at that. Retaliation, punish, payback, and revenge. I told you. See, she's ashamed, embarrassed of how this person did her. So now she wants revenge. She want to punish them. She want to get her leak back. And I feel like for a lot of you, she is. This karmic feminine is going to get her fucking leak back on this person. Because like I said, she's karmic. These karmics, look, everybody's path is different. Okay? Everybody, everybody's path when they're born here on this earth is not to be a chosen one. Some people's life path is to be a karmic. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. It's what they, like, recreated. That's what they were born to do in this lifetime was to be a karmic. Other people are born to be divine feminists. Other people are, are, are born to be divine masculines. But that's what I'm saying. That's why when you come down here and you live this life, you have to do the work. Because when judgment day comes... When your ticket is punched and you die and you perish and you, your soul growth is going to determine what you're going to be when your ass is brought back down here. You know what I'm saying? It's going to determine what type of life you have to live. That's why I said this, this shit is just ongoing. Like you're never not going to learn. You're never not going to grow. You learn as much as you can while you're here so that then when you perish and it's time to reincarnate, you'll be learning something else, but it won't be this same lesson. It'll be something completely different because you've already mastered this. But if you don't learn the lessons that you're supposed to learn while you're down here and you die, you're going to you're going to reincarnate, but you're going to reincarnate to this same shit. And you're going to have to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again until you get it. Like, that's just, that's just how it is. That's just how it's set up. Like, the fuck, like, that's what I understand. Like, who wants, who wants to die and come back here and do all this shit over again? Who? Because for a lot of you that are in divine masculine, divine feminine energy, you know how hard it's been. Our motherfucking asses is just now getting redemption from some shit that didn't happen two, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. We're just now getting karmic justice after having to heal and, and figure shit out and put the pieces together and learn to love ourselves and reteach ourselves the shit that we didn't get taught in the first fucking place. It's been years and we're just now receiving karmic karmic redemption. Yeah, look at that happiness hater. Like some of you, you're getting blessed. You're finally in a point in your life where you're literally happy with everything. Ten of Cups, you're happy with your relationship. You're happy with your career. You're happy with where you live at. You're happy with your kids, with your family, the family that you created, the person that you married. Like, you're you're getting to a point where you're actually happy. I'm telling you, a lot of you will be getting married in 2024. If you Or you're going to be planning a marriage. Or a lot of you are going to be engaged. Like real shit, you're gonna divine feminine, the ones who've done the work, you will be off the market in 2024. It's a bitch that's gonna be hating. She she envies you, she wants your life. She got the same dress as you do. This bitch thinks this karmic feminine energy thinks just because she's pretty that that means that she's just supposed to get what you get. She's supposed to get what divine feminine gets. No, bitch, that's not how it works. Divine feminine, the real divine feminines have earned their right to this spot, bitch. I had to overcome all the heartbreak, all the pain, all the disappointment, all the games, bitch. I had to learn discernment. I had to learn to love myself so I could stop dealing with fuck niggas, bitch. I really done the work. You just want to put a dress on and be me, bitch. It's not the same. Like the fuck. For real, because it's like the audacity. That shit is disrespectful, bitch. You just want to be divine feminine because you think you're cute, because you think you're pretty, because you think your ass fat. It may You may very well be all of those things, but, bitch, you haven't done the work. That's the difference. You don't understand what the fuck it really takes to be a divine feminine. Yeah, 
Yeah, Carly. So yeah, somebody card and got repo. It says no card repo or card issues. So somebody carding got repo or it's on the verge of getting repo or they having card issues. Something may be wrong with their car and they can't afford to get it fixed. Yeah, then we got an offer out here. Yeah, tripping on you. Now this person from your past that's tripping off of you, that's lost and confused or getting high or whatever the fuck they want to do. Now this person wants to offer you the real offer. The offer that they went and gave to this fucking karmic is now the offer that they want to give you. Now they want to give you a real offer. Now they want to be with you. Now they want to claim you. Now they want to be like, oh, me and Divine Feminine. Because for a lot of you, when you were dating this person, this person was ashamed of you. They tried to hide you, keep you a secret and shit. Now all of a sudden, this motherfucker, they want to make you an offer. They want to be seen with Divine Feminine. Oh, I, I, got, a, I got a Divine Feminine. I got a real woman. I got a real bitch. No, you don't. You got that fucking karmic that you've been with. That's who you got. This person tripping off of you because they want to give you a real offer now. But you don't want this shit. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You don't want that shit. You don't want no fucking apology either. Yeah, meeting. This person want to meet up. Two or more people discussing and planning. Yeah, they want to meet up. Have a conversation with you and shit. Try to give you this offer. No. Yeah, it's all you. Confused. Lost. They don't know which way to go. So they're trying to turn back to divine masculine and divine feminine. Yeah, but you're running far away from this fucking person and ignoring them. Just period. You're like, absolutely the fuck not. Like, I don't want you for running far the fuck away from whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract, writing, diary, keeping notes. Now this person wants to write you some long ass paragraph wanting to come together and get on the same page and meet up and blah 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 yeah this person's gonna take a risk they're gonna take a risk and finally express something to you finally tell you how they feel finally try to come clean about what happened and shit yeah emotions coming and going racing and avoiding yeah offer on the table yeah this person wants to reconcile with you so fucking bad like journal they're trying to figure out what to say i'm getting somebody who's like typing some shit up then erasing it and trying to type it again with this nightlife gamble take a risk i'm telling you this person's going to take a chance they're going to risk it all and send you this message and it may be in the middle of the night while you're sleeping while you're resting while you're taking a nap you're going to hear from this person and you're probably going to be fucking shocked yeah look at this shit on the bottom of the deck broke ass this person ain't got no fucking money all their money has been depleted they're, they're, this person literally wants to come towards you with nothing. And look at you, queen rising. Stepping into your power. Stepping into who you were truly meant to be. That is just crazy fucking work. Like somebody... Like, come on, man. Stop fucking playing like... Who in the fuck? This person ain't got no money. Broke ass, literally, on the bottom of the deck. This person ain't got no fucking money. What's the message here, spirit? podcast so somebody could be saying something out loud or somebody could have a podcast or a platform of some sort of the podcast here so you could be speaking your truth divine feminine like i feel like divine feminine divine masculine like you're finally to a point where you're healed enough to even speak on this shit that happened to you like real shit like now you're like you're okay to talk about it or you've learned so much from it that now you can speak on it you know what I'm saying? Like, you understand it enough to be able to teach it to other people. Yeah, look at that. Then we got bitch card out here. So yeah, there's these, these karmic females. They don't like these podcasts. They don't like these platforms that's calling them out on their shit. Like, real shit. So, I mean, this podcast, this could be any platform. It could be social media, Facebook, whatever the fuck, or YouTube, whatever the fuck. These current feminists, they don't like what's being said on these platforms and shit. 
These bitches are hurt. Three of swords. They feeling some type of way. They getting triggered and bothered and shit. Oh, well, bitch. It's time to wake up. Time to wake the fuck up. Period. Three of swords. They could be throwing shade, trolling you, all that weird shit. Mm, bitch, it's not going to change shit at the end of the day. It's not going to change the fact, bitch, that you still need to do the fucking work. Get to it, bitch. Get to it. Influencer. Told you. These people, they don't... You could be an influencer of some sort or you have some type of uh, podcast platform, um, YouTube channel, whatever the fuck. You can get a lot of likes, shares, or subscribes or you get paid on this or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but it's karmic bitches hating. They'll be okay. They'll be all right. Yeah, look at that trauma bond. Mm -hmm. This is that codependent shit I was talking about. These bitches be hell bent on that's my soulmate, that's my twin flame. Okay, bitch, just because somebody may be your twin flame or they may be your soulmate or whatever the fuck you want to label them as, that still doesn't mean you let a motherfucker dog you out. Point blank, period, bitch. It's not about twin flame. It's not about soulmate, bitch. It's about boundaries. It's about learning to say no. It's about having self-respect. It's about having morals and values and standing on business, bitch. That's what it's about. Doesn't matter if they're your fucking soulmate, bitch, if they dragging you through the mud. What does the fucking matter if you're getting mistreated and getting dogged the fuck out and embarrassed, bitch? What they got to do with a fucking twin flame? Nothing. Bitches are codependent and this shit is fucking toxic, bro. You can't thrive in a toxic environment. You can't. Look at that. Now bitches want to cry and shit. Empath because she's going through this tower and shit. Feeling like her life is just like, it's just shit just getting exposed and what the fuck is going on. She don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, look at that. Fever. I can't make it up. Bitch got an attitude problem. She mad at the fucking world. Just being nasty, trolling. I mean, just hurt. It's like, bitch, you need to heal that. All that crying and shit is not going to change shit. It's not going to do shit. Quit being a fucking victim, bitch. You're not a victim. You are responsible for working on yourself. You are responsible for your own happiness. You are responsible for your own self-love. So all of that shit, bitch, it don't matter. Because it didn't matter when you was out here being wicked. You, it what didn't matter when you was out here manipulating and doing magic and shit. Now, bitch, you want to cry? Fuck no. Suck it up, bitch. Period. Yeah, look at you. And you're the privileged lady. This is Divine Feminine. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're just sitting back watching all these towers hit these people. And, and, for, and for some of you, like, she got tears in her eyes. For a lot of you, this shit is sad to see. You're sad to see all these people crashing out online and shit. It's just fucking sad. It's really fucking sad. Because why the fuck do it take all of this? Why does it take all this manipulation and all this sabotage and all this shit just to get to the fuck? Like, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like, everybody, and I was talking about this earlier too. Everybody is not mentally strong, okay? Especially when you're not doing the work on yourself. When you're not, do, when you're not doing the work on yourself, you leave yourself vulnerable for people to attach to you for demonic entities to attach to you because for one you you don't know how to protect your energy you don't know how to keep the wrong people out of your energy so when you're not doing the work on yourself and you're involved in these toxic environments you make it easy for people to leech off of you and attach to your energy and drain you that's why that codependent shit is not healthy you need to learn to thrive on your own because Everybody who you come in contact doesn't deserve to be in your energy. What's the message here for the collective? And this man, it says ignoring, he's still in denial. He's still ignoring the truth about himself. Like lashing out and taking your energy out on everybody else is not going to solve your problems. 
It's like somebody out here is re really playing victim, just crying and wanting all this attention and needing all this sympathy and shit, but still codependent on this relationship. Like, bitch, I see you crying, but you're still not making any moves. What What do you, if, if you're such a victim and you're so sad and you're so over it and I'm so heartbroken and I can't take it no more, bitch, why you ain't made a move yet? A motherfucker who is truly sick and tired is not going to keep staying in the same environment that made them sick. So what are you going to do about it, bitch? You crying, but what, what now? What are you going to do? Are you going to get up? Are you going to move? Are you going to find a job? Are you going to start looking for a place? Like, bitch, faith without work is dead. Bust a move, bitch. Because all this crying shit, don't nobody fucking feel sorry for you, bitch. And real shit. Yeah, four pentacles here. I feel like somebody could be trying to hold on to your energy. Four of Pentacles, like they're trying to hold on you, hold on to you so fucking tight. Or somebody out here is holding on to something that's no longer serving them anymore. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Four, four of Swords reverse. There is no rest for the wicked. These people cannot sleep. Four of Swords, they have insomnia. They're mentally exhausted. A lot of these people need to seek therapy, but they're in denial about that. The four, the four swords reverse is like, I don't need therapy. Nothing is wrong with me. Somebody who doesn't want help, they're refusing help. Ain't nothing wrong with my, ain't nothing wrong with my mental space. Uh, okay. It's like these people get triggered when you start talking about they need to go get help or they need to go speak to a therapist or get professional help. Then they getting bothered. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Yes, it is. Four swords reverse. You can't sleep. You're rested. You're um exhausted mentally drained tired of thinking about the same shit over and over and over again staying up at night because you know you're holding on to something that you need to fucking let go of yeah empress reverse boy I'm, I'm talking to a karmic i'm talking to a fucking karmic like empress reverse like bitch you're pretty but you, you don't you haven't done the work you're, you're faking the feminine energy. Like, bitch, the Empress Reverse is a bitch with extremely low self-esteem. She lets people run all over her, take advantage of her. And her excuse is, well, I, I, I have a big heart and I just care for people. Like, bitch, fuck all of that. How you care for people and don't care for yourself? How you love other people but don't love yourself? Make that shit make fucking sense. You cannot sacrifice yourself in the name of love for other motherfuckers. Are they sacrificing themselves for you? Are they doing that shit? Are they making, putting your needs and shit be, before their own? No, they're not. That's why you feel like this. That's why you feel drained. Empress reverse. You can't manifest. You're clingy. You're insecure as fuck. Like, bitch, what in the fuck is this shit? Empress reverse. You're pretending to be divine feminine and you're not. You got potential, but you need to do the fucking work. You cannot hang on to a relationship just because you got kids with somebody and shit. Bitch, that's not going to get you what you want. That's not going to get you a real partnership. Bitch, you're going to be continue to fight for your life for a fucking relationship running behind a fucking masculine, bitch. That's on you. Empress reverse. This is one insecure ass feminine energy. Ugh, this is just making me fucking sick. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Wands. This is this person. For some of you, this person could be a Sagittarius or they have Sag in their chart. Look at them. Nine of Wands energy. Still running around, still cheating, still lying. The Nine, the nine, the nine of Wands is somebody who's, they're looking for something. They're looking for some sort of excitement, some type of adventure. It's like they're in pursuit of something, in pursuit of a good time. I don't know what the fuck they, they're just running around. I told you, I said that in the beginning of this reading, it's a lot of people out here who, who they're looking for love. They're looking for affection. But because these toxic ass people has abused the collective so much, they don't have access to divine people to siphon their energy. They have to feed off of low vibrational people, people who are just as immature as them, people who are just uh, who are just as unreliable and inconsistent as them. They're the, it's like the karmics are forced to feed off of each other now and they don't like it. 
They want their divine energy back from divine feminine, divine masculine. But spirit said, no, you, you motherfuckers will not do that shit to my, to my collective anymore. You won't. We steady out here healing and growing and, and trying to change and, and be better and make the world a better place. And you motherfuckers who think y'all just finna, oh, they'll do the work and then we just gonna come steal that energy and go fuck off. No, y'all not. Now all y'all got is each other. These karmic feminists and these karmic masculines, y'all got each other and see how far that's gonna get you. Ain't gonna get you far. Because most, uh, most motherfuckers that are toxic that can't get along to save their fucking life, you'll never get anywhere. It'll just be a toxic, repetitive cycle of the same shit that keeps happening over and over and over again. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This person is a player. They're inconsistent. They're immature. They're not ready for a commitment. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. They missed this opportunity with you because they refused to fucking grow up. 45 45 on the timer. They refuse to fucking grow up. For some of you, these people are criminals, scammers with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. There's a bitter ass cancer woman out here or a Scorpio feminine or there's a bitter ass Queen of Swords reverse of a, a Libra Aquarius Gemini with a Page of Swords. Yeah, these karma people, they lurking and all type of shit. Yeah, look at that Knight of Swords here. Somebody's definitely, they got in trouble with the law for scamming Eight of Pentacles reverse. I don't know what they did. It could be like PPP loans and shit. Somebody's in trouble with the law because of that. The Knight of Swords reverse is a criminal. So they didn't got locked up for something before. But somebody out here is like the fucking Knight of Wands. All they do is fuck you good and disappear. You will have a good time with the Knight of Wands, but don't expect them to stick around long. They, you, this person just pops back up or show up when they want to fuck. And it's like, you're not on that type of time anymore. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, they missed the opportunity with you for being this Knight of Wands as energy. Playing around and shit. That's what I'm saying. You can't be in no Knight of Wands energy trying to build a legacy. It doesn't work. Like, I have the Four of Pentacles here. magician reverse or this could be you holding back from this person or like i said this is you holding back from this person you could have blocked this person just pulled your energy all the way to fuck back or this is this trickster this shapeshifter this magician reverse told you somebody here is a player they're a shapeshifter 47 47 on the timer i keep seeing like repeated numbers so this reading is significant for somebody but yeah, magician reverse is somebody who plays games. They're a shapeshifter. This is somebody who likes to take advantage of people. They're opportunists. They like to manipulate people's free will to get what they want. And this person's either holding on to your energy or you're keeping your energy back from this person. Magician reverse. That's somebody who cannot be fucking trusted. That's somebody who plays games. Like real shit. And this person, the Knight of Wands and the Magician Reverse, this person is scattered and all over the fucking place. Look at you, Divine Feminine, on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles. You focus on that bag. You focus on your foundation. You focus on your money. Like real shit. I feel like a lot of you have a lot of plans financially this year. It's a lot of shit or a lot of ideas that you got for making money or you got plans on how you're going to save money. It's like you got a strategy out here financially. About how you're going to accomplish something and you're going to do it too. Yeah, Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person wants to attack you. Or they have been attacking you verbally. I feel like this person is upset or they're hostile with you. They're hostile with this Queen of Pentacles energy. Lots of Magician reverse. It's like the Magician reverse is a trickster. There's somebody who will shape shift. They will become whatever they need to be necessary in order to, to get what they want from a person. It's like they can be any bitch. It doesn't fucking matter. They can be the bitch that says, oh, well, I'm not into relationships. I like to I like to be free. I'm a bohemian. I'm my, my ideal partner is one who wants to live in the forest and wear a cape and we feed off of berries every day. 
they'll meet somebody this magician reverse will meet somebody like that and be like okay bitch well i'm finna go put a cape on and we finna go live in the forest because that's what you told me you like you got something i want i'm gonna turn myself into whatever that is to manipulate you into thinking that I'm really your perfect match. I'm really your person. And when I get what I when I get what I need from you, I'm out. That's this person. They will become whatever the fuck they need to be. It's like they play games. They're a trickster. Why wow, is a magician reverse? Virgo Gemini energy. Yeah, this person is showing up in there as their true self. And I feel like this person is really because because the um, magician reverse is like being all over the place. So I feel like this person is being shape shifting heavy lately because they're in this Knight of Wands energy. I feel like they're they're running around trying to find somebody to attach to, to leech to, to feed off of, to manipulate and trick. It's like they're trying to find somebody. They know they missed the opportunity with you. Ace of Pentacles reverse. So they're looking for it. They're basically looking for another supply. A real shit. Why is the magician reverse here? Because they can't do nothing with this current fan. They didn't already broke her down to nothing. They can't even feed off of her anymore. She's useless to this, this magician reverse. Why is the magician reverse here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this shapeshifter may be trying to come towards you, trying to apologize, act like they're sorry and shit with the Ace of Cups. Nah, it, it's a magician out here. I told you, that's the offer. The Ace of Cups and the offer. It came out in two different decks. I told you, this person wants to give you a serious offer now. But this, this offer is coming from a magician reverse. Fuck no. Absolutely not. You out of hell no. Nah. Uh, offer bitch are you out of your mind and you're the magician reverse in the knight of wands you're no the knight of wands is a cheater okay that's the ace of cups here yeah nine of cups yeah the nine of cups reverse is somebody who's smug and arrogant they don't think there's nothing wrong with their behavior. They don't feel like they got to change. But if you don't feel like you got to change, there's nothing wrong with your behavior. Then why the fuck you so miserable? Nine of Cups reverse, they're not happy with self. The nine of Cups reverse is like when you're not happy with where you are in life. You're not happy with your accomplishments or you feel like you haven't accomplished anything for your age and shit. It's because you haven't. You've been too busy out here being a hoe and manipulating people. Of course you ain't accomplished shit. Because you're not disciplined enough to focus on the right shit. So nine of cups reverse. They're miserable. They're not getting what they're wanting. They're not getting their wish wishes fulfilled. Or they thought that they were going to be happy with this karmic feminine energy. But they're not. That didn't make them happy either. You got a bitch that literally would do whatever the fuck you say. And you're still not satisfied. Nine of cups reverse. That means there's something wrong with you on a deeper level. Because all this external shit still don't make you happy. No matter how many bitches you fuck, still don't make you happy. So what will then? What the fuck will make you happy then? Yeah, nine of cups reverse. This is, they had something that brought them happiness. This is nine of cups reverse. You had divine masculine. You had divine feminine that was giving you what you needed and you lost it. Nine of cups reverse. And now you can't never get it back. Why is the nine of, nine of cups here? Yeah, ten of swords reverse. Mm -hmm. This person did you dirty, they betrayed you, ten of swords, but you broke free. A lot of you, you're, you're over this ten of swords, this betrayal. You broke the hex, you broke the curse. Why's the Ten of Swords reverse? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are single. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I feel like you won't be single long if you are. Some of you, you've already connected with a divine counterpart. 
others of you, you're single and you're waiting with the nine of pentacles. But I feel like even if you're single and waiting, you have everything you need. The nine of pentacles is somebody who's self-sufficient, self-made. I mean, you got a good routine. You work out. You could be an entrepreneur. Your business is doing well. Or you could just have a nice career. I mean, you didn't really build yourself up. You have accomplishments and experience and shit under your belt. You're really self-made. The only thing the nine of pentacles is missing is the ace of pentacles, which would give the which would bring her or him to the ten of pentacles. So a lot of you, the only thing you're really missing is a relationship, which that's a want, not a need, because obviously you can function out here on your own with the nine of pentacles. That's you independent in your own lane, self-sufficient. You're independent, not codependent. So it's like you're out here, you're doing good. You're living good, feeling good, single, doing you and shit. You've healed from this betrayal and shit. This Ten of Swords reverse. It's like you ain't got nothing to worry about. Like real shit. I told you, look at that. Four of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I told you this relationship is coming if it haven't made it here already with the Four of Wands. Yeah, you're going to meet somebody that you can actually build a solid foundation with. That you're going to end up marrying with the Four of Wands. A real twin flame. Or a real soulmate. This person from your past, this magician reverse knight of wands, is not your fucking soulmate or twin flame. It's just a fucking loser and a hoe. That's the nine of pentacles for wands here. Yeah, look at that. Two of cups. I told you. You're going to connect with somebody. Two of cups, it may start off as like a friendship. You may date for a couple of months with the two of cups. And you're going to find that, damn, me and this person are actually kind of compatible. Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. A lot of you are going to end up living with this person, buying a home with them, or getting married. The real shit. It is time. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, the, the true ones, the ones who have really done the work, you are going into union. You get to build your legacy. Like, real shit. <laughs> Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Some of you, it could be some um, gay or lesbians, bisexuals out here too. Because there's two women out here with the two of cups. That's the four um, swords reverse. Yeah, two of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Four of Swords reversed and the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, this karmic feminine, she knows that she's being juggled. Because this person, this not a wild reverse, he's outside doing whatever the fuck he want to do. He's not, he knows this bitch is a pushover. She's a run over. Like, all he got to do is, is just get, he get caught cheating. He knows this bitch ain't going to go nowhere. Empress reverse. It's like, bitch, you, you let me mistreat you. Bitch, I leave breadcrumbs out for you, and I know you going to come eat them every time. Like, this bitch gets treated like a fucking rodent. It's like, bitch, all I got to do is put food out, put crumbs out, and here your ass going to come eat this shit. I know you always going to come. You eat it up every time, bitch. I know you will. Says it's not a wines. She knows she's being juggled, or this is what she's worried about, four of swords reverse and the two of pentacles. There's two situations going on here. Also, two of pentacles here. It's like this bitch got such low self esteem because this person keeps like juggling her or cheating on her. They always got two situations going on at once. It's always her and another bitch and shit. That's why her self esteem is so low. Because it's like, well, I mean, I'm with you. I live with you. I got kids with you and shit with the Empress. But what about me isn't good enough to where you still feel like you got to be in the Knight of Wands. You still cheat. You still inconsistent. Even the dick ain't consistent, bitch. This nigga don't dick you down like that. Not for real. And it's like you, you got resentment towards him anyway. So half the time, if he do fuck you, you really don't want to fuck him. Because there's a disconnect. The Empress reversing the Knight of Wands, that's not a match. 
That is not a match. That's a whole ass nigga and an insecure ass bitch trying to be together. Make that shit make sense. Why is the two of pentacles here? Judgment reverse. Somebody is under judgment. They know they made the wrong decision in love. They're wearing a mask. They're still not answering the call. This is lack of self-awareness. It's like this person makes poor decisions and poor choices. They don't understand how being in this knot of wands energy is really fucking up their future. Or what future that they could have. If you would go sit the fuck down somewhere and actually do the work and stop playing so fucking much. Do what the fuck you need to do. Take accountability for your actions. You may be able to salvage something. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 the rest of your journey might not be that fucking bad if you wake the fuck up now. That parasite card talks about people who are dedicated to being sheep. It's, a, it's okay to be a sheep, but it's not okay to be a sheep for 100 years. I mean, you're going to stay asleep your whole fucking life. You're never going to answer the call. You're never going to fucking wake up. You're never going to take accountability. I guess not. Then you're going to have to be in this Knight of Wands energy forever. And trust me, you're going to get tired of that shit. The Knight of Wands, try to be a Knight of Wands when you're fucking 50 and 60 and 70 years old. You think you're going to be a Knight of Wands then? Fuck no. Judgment reverse. Somebody's wearing a fucking mask, dog. And they won't answer the call. Judgment reverse is making poor choices. They lack self awareness. It's like they won't take accountability for something. It's like judgment reverse is also malicious gossiping too. So this is the this person. They all up in everybody else's business. They know what everybody else got going on and what somebody else doing and what they doing down the street and all that shit. But just in reverse, it's like they, they engage in that gossip and that shit because they like to deflect from their own shortcomings. The just in reverse is somebody who knows that they got shit to work on. But instead of being honest about that, being honest with themselves, having awareness about what they need to be working on or decisions that they need to make to change their life around, they rather focus on other people's business and gossip and shit, engage in the rumors and all this weird ass shit. When you need to be focused on yourself, why is the judgment reverse? That's why they're getting karma. They're being judged harshly by others around them. This karmic couple, they are being judged harshly. That's why I'm saying, I don't know if you've been seeing this shit that's been going on in the collective, but these bitches who be playing victim and shit, and I ain't saying it like that. You know what I'm saying? My heart goes out to real victims of uh, domestic abuse, assault, and all that type of shit. You know, R-A-P-E, you know, my, my heart goes out to those individuals who have really been victims of that shit. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. But at the same time, some of these motherfuckers are playing victim. It's just like, okay, well, bitch, you keep crying out for help. You keep saying they doing this to you and they doing that to you. But, bitch, you won't get up and leave. Like, you won't do anything about it. How do you... If you won't do nothing about your own circumstances, what makes you think the next person is going to do anything about it? Bitch, you're showing me that you don't give a fuck. You showing me that you don't give a fuck about you because you stay in this bullshit where you getting dogged out and mistreated. So what exactly do you want me to do? You want me to care about you, but you don't even care about you? Make that shit make sense. A lot of these bitches, these karmic feminine energies, they want they want they want somebody to come save them. They don't want to do the work. They just want somebody to come save them and fix all them prop fix their problems and get them out of this shit. Bitch, that is not how it's work. You got to get up off of your ass and fix it. Nobody is coming to save you. Nobody. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, damn show sure ain't coming. So, the fuck? Why is the judgment reverse? Somebody out here doesn't want to take accountability because they know that they made some poor decisions. But, I mean, people are talking shit about their ass anyway with the judgment reverse. It's harsh judgment. People passing judgment on you, gossiping, whispering every time you walk past and shit. Yeah, star card here. Mm -hmm. And look at you, collective. Healing, shining, blessed, and anointed. 
A lot of you have stepped into your purpose because you've healed from something. You're shining. People see you. They know you are in this star energy that you're getting blessed. This is like major blessing. Look, each and every one of those stars is a blessing. And this big ass star in the middle, that, that's the blessing that's going to take some time to come in. That, that blessing that you've been waiting for is coming. It's already in your energetic field. It's coming. You're manifesting it. It's on its way to you. That's when God going to do his big one right there with that big ass star. But you got many, plenty of blessings coming in. You, God has already showed up and showed you that shit is changing and shit is getting ready to pop off for you. A lot of you are in your purpose. You, you're a healer. You have a spiritual business. You could be in the beauty industry or you work in the medical field or you just do something with your hands that's very healing. Or you do something that is very therapeutic to you with the star energy here. Very blessed and highly anointed. Like a lot of you, you stay prayed up. You talk to the most high. You're just in this very beautiful healing energy. Like you've really healed. And that's what's bringing in these blessings. The ten of swords is in reverse and the stars in the upright. Some of you could even be reaching stardom. This could be like becoming famous or well known or, or celebrity status here with the star. It's like you could be healing people with whatever this is that you make or do. That's a star card here. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, people are watching. Page of swords, people watching you on social media. They're watching you. This star energy, they waiting to see what you're going to do next. What God going to bless you with next. They're watching and waiting to see with the page of swords. These motherfuckers are lurking. Or like I said, somebody's going to try to reach out to you because the page of swords can be a message. Somebody wants to say something to you. Could be an air sign. What's this page of swords? What are they looking for? Yeah, star card. <laughs> Sun card. Look at this shit. We got, <laughs> we got Aquarius and Leo out here. I'm talking about you shining heavy. Or like I said, there's a blessing coming in with this star card. It's like you're really going to get something amazing or something amazing is going to happen to you. Like stardom and shit. Fame. You're going to be put in the spotlight. This is you being completely happy. Some of you could even be getting pregnant. This could be what this is. It's like a lot of you, if you get pregnant, you're going to have a beautiful pregnancy. Like real shit. Some with the star. Yeah, people are watching you shine. They're watching you glow. They're watching you be happy. Pay the swords with the sun. They're watching you be optimistic and happy about your life and moving forward and taking chances and shit. Just leveling up. Why's the sun card here? Yeah, shit is. I can't make this shit up. Eight of Wands. Shit is fucking taking off for you. Some of you are traveling, catching flights. You're booked and you're busy. Like, it, it's just shit. It's just taking off for you. Like, real shit. I love to see that for the collective. Like, it's so deserving. Like, real shit. A lot of you are going to be so happy with the sun and the star and the Eight of Wands. Woo! How's the Eight of Wands here? Yeah. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, that's because you, you've recovered from this Ten of Swords. Like, truly. Star with the sun. It's like you found your happiness again. Like, you did this Ten of Swords and betrayal that happened to you in the past. It doesn't affect you at all. It's just like, okay, like, I'm good. And that's why I said some of you are in a place where you feel like you can talk about this shit now. Because you've healed that much. Like, why is the Ten of Swords reverse? justice reverse mm -hmm. but somebody i'm telling you these karmic people are getting hella bad karma uh judgment i mean not judgment no yeah i did mean to say that the judgment and the justice reverse 
It was the two fucking worst karma cards that you can get in a, next to the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Those are the three major karma bad luck cards. The Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Justice reverse, and the goddamn Judgment reverse. That's like, that's the worst karma that you can get. Like, and they already got two of them out here. I don't know if the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse or not. Yeah, look, this karmic bitch then got, look, this shit. I cannot make this shit up. Look at this shit. The, the, the high priestess reverse, you know the high priestess is. This bitch has been outed. Her secrets are being exposed. This bitch who's been doing spell work. She's very manipulative. She's very two-faced. Fake as fuck. She's getting exposed for this duplicitous energy. This fake ass shit. She could be having loud outbursts or just something's wrong with her or something. People are realizing her and mental health issues could be being exposed. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, she got caught up in a lie. Or she got caught cheating or stealing or doing something. Yeah. Five of Swords reverse. This shit backfired on her ass and now she's feeling ashamed. Now she's embarrassed and shit, humiliated and shit. Ooh, we it could be a Pisces. It's like you motherfuckers are not slick. High Priestess Reverse, Seven of Swords Reverse, this could be a, um, this could be an Aquarius Pisces Cusper feminine energy who out here getting embarrassed and exposed and then got caught up in her lies and sneaky shit. I was a Five of Swords Reverse. Somebody feels completely humiliated. There could be a Libra and a Pisces out here that are, are under judgment. Yeah, because there's two bitches out here. It's a it's a high priestess reverse and an empress reverse. And the two of pentacles is, is here too. That's why I said this masculine energy and this not in wands energy, he's been juggling. He's been cheating. He's been going back and forth between the empress reverse and the high priestess reverse. But they didn't got caught. Seven of swords reverse and a five of swords reverse. That shit didn't backfire. Whatever type of double life they were living, whatever this was, they were trying to keep a secret. One eleven on the timer has been exposed or somebody got caught in an act or got caught in a lie. Like real shit. The side bitch has been exposed. The other bitch, Barbara versus Shirley, however you want to call it, has been exposed. They know this, this Empress energy knows who the fuck he's been cheating with. Both karmic feminines know about each other. High Priestess reverse and the Empress reverse. Because see, Divine Feminine... You've been out of this shit. You've been left this raggedy ass night of wands night of wands alone. You're like, bitch, you're not finna keep playing in my face with the night of wands. So divine feminine, divine masculine, you went off to do the work. This person kept continuing to play around, continue to be a shapeshifter after you left their energy. And these are the two karmic feminines that they were playing playing between the Empress reverse and the high priestess reverse. But the high priestess reverse. The high priestess reverse is highly manipulative. She could be in spell, like in spell work or dark magic. This high priestess, uh, uh, because it one of them cards said punish and revenge. I feel like this high priestess is the darker feminine energy out of the two. I feel like the empress reverse. She's a karmic, but she's just more like insecure. She not doing no spell work on nobody and shit. She just needs to do her work on her insecurities. This high priestess reverse. Oh, hell no. Nah. She gonna get her lick back. This high priestess reverse is the one who wants payback and revenge on this masculine energy. On this knight of wands. So she finna start doing spell work on this person. If she hasn't been already. Because she wants her lick back. So of course she's gonna do work on this person. It's like, bitch. Because the high priestess reverse is... If you can look, you can look it up. If you look up the high priestess reverse... It's the duplicitous energy. A bitch who's fake as fuck is not to be trusted. Highly manipulative. So I wouldn't even put it past this bitch to get this masculine set up or some shit. Like, yeah, the high priestess reverse gets down like that. Punish, payback, and revenge. Yeah, this bitch is going to get her fucking lick back on this masculine. Like, real shit. Because he been out here slanging dick. Making love and fucking these bitches and shit. Acting like they gonna be the one and all this shit. And the whole time he the fuck playing around. Mm-hmm. Where that card go? I can't find it because it's too deep in there. Yeah, but this not a wants. Got his ass caught up in some shit. Like real shit. Why is the high priestess here reverse with the seven of swords reverse? Yeah, Queen of Swords, if I told you, 
This is literally told you. High Priestess reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords reverse, I just got done talking about punish, payback, and revenge. Seek and destroy. Kill, seek, and destroy. This bitch is not playing with this night of wands. She is pissed. And she's bitter. And she wants her fucking lick back. And she not... This bitch ain't even thinking clearly or rationally. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. She's not in her right mind. At this point, she gives zero fucks about what she has to do to this person in order to get her lick back. It's like, bitch, I'm going to set you up. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I need to do because, bitch, you just played in my face. This, this, this high priestess, Queen of Swords reverse, gives zero fucks about these kids, about... How she going to look and all of that. She do not give a fuck. This bitch wants her lick back on this night of wands. Period. Because she, she's like hurt beyond measure. The queen of swords reverse is a scorned female. It's a scorned feminine energy. She's very bitter. Very cold hearted. Very detached. So, I mean, she doesn't. This is like. The Queen of Swords reverse and the High Priestess reverse is like having a zero conscious. This bitch will tell any lie. Queen of Swords reverse because she's fake as fuck and manipulative as fuck. High Priestess reverse and a Queen of Swords reverse. She will tell any lie. She's going to do whatever the fuck it takes because she's ruthless. She don't care. Her conscious, there isn't one. High Priestess reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Like, bitch, I'm going to bind you. I'm going to do spell work on you. I'm going to lie on you. I'm finna take your motherfucking ass out. Period. Like, that's just, that's it. That's all there is to it. Mm -mm. I'm queen of swords reverse. God damn. Yeah, six of pentacles. I cannot make this up. Six of pentacles reverse is like plot energy. Plotting. Setting somebody up. Ooh. Mm-mm. And, and this shit is coming, it's, it's, it's clarifying her. So this person could have used her for money or just used her, period. But this bitch, she is like six of pentacles reverse. Yeah, that is like getting somebody set up. Plotting on somebody, setting a trap for somebody with the six of pentacles reverse. Mm -mm. Paying somebody to do it. The Six of Pentacles reverse is extortion. I'm going to pay you to do this. I'm going to pay you to fuck this person up. Like real shit. This is why this person could be running around and shit. That's why. That's why if you're a divine feminine and divine masculine. Spirit wants you to stay the fuck away from whoever this person is. Not in that sense. It's not a wise energy. Male or female. Because they got somebody out here who wants revenge on them. And their karma is is on their ass. Karma is here. Judgment reverse and a justice reverse. Whatever the fuck this um Queen of Swords, High Priestess reverse is plotting on this person. You're not finna be nowhere around. Spirit don't want you nowhere around this person. When this Queen of Swords, High Priestess Reverse strikes, you're not finna be involved at all. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, full card. Mm hmm. Ooh -wee. Yeah, you've been free from this shit. Food car, this shit ain't got shit to do with you. Whatever the fuck is going to happen to this masculine has nothing to do with you. And real shit. You yeah, feel like you free from this shit. You don't got to worry about this type of shit. There's a food car here. Yeah, look at you. You're on the wheel of fortune. Things are turning around in your life. You learned the lesson. You are free from this shit. You paid your karmic debt back, and now you're on top of the Wheel of Fortune. Blessings on blessings on blessings. The Wheel of Fortune upright, the sun, and the star. I'm telling you, some of y'all life are, is going to change so drastically. Like, this is like coming into money. The Wheel of Fortune is just like blessings and good luck. You're going to be like, I can't even believe this shit is happening. Like, some of you are going to be so fucking happy. Wheel of Fortune in a full car. Woo! Ooh wee. You're gonna be so happy. What's this six of pentacles here in the reverse? What's this six of pentacles reverse? Yeah, eight of cups reverse. Yeah, this this bitch, 
this high priestess the queen of swords bitch she's not leaving until she gets her lick back on this person it, it's up and it's fucking stuck like oh we yeah because she feel like she didn't settle for this person and got played and shit yeah strength card or this is this person it's not a wise energy you think he's gonna come back towards you because the eight of the eight of cups reverse is like abandonment issues this is like completely walking away from something thinking that you're gonna find something better and shit only to try to co go back to whatever it was because some shit didn't work out yeah the grass wasn't greener on the other side so now this person wants to return towards you or they want to come back towards you acting like they never really left you and shit the eight of pentacles i mean the eight of cups reverse went bitch yes you did you were in a full-blown relationship a whole nother third party situation like bitch yes you were this person trying to come back oh i, I didn't leave you i was only gone for da 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 this bullshit eight of cups reverse but you you're strong as a motherfucker right now strength card up right you're like bitch please like nah i don't fuck with you i feel like you're pulling all the way back this person they don't even got a chance this person can't penetrate your energetic field. You're too strong. Strength card, and they're coming in a knight of wands? No. Like, this shit is not going to work. Why is the strength card here? Yeah, two of swords here. Mm-hmm. This is like secrets coming out, information and shit. This person may be trying to unblock you or they're going to. Why is the two of swords reverse? Yeah, moon card. Mm -hmm. They might secretly unblock you and shit. Or like, I'm telling you, it's secrets coming out about this person or they receive some type of information. But then there's the moon card. I feel like they're hiding. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person, they didn't got some information. But it's like they're keeping it hidden though. Moon card. They don't want nobody to know that they've received this information or they don't want nobody to know that they know the truth about something or some lies are coming out. It's like they don't want to know. They don't want nobody to know about these lies that has been revealed to them. Moon card. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. But see, you're getting the inheritance. You're getting the divine inheritance. Strength card, Ten of Pentacles. The will of fortune, the star, the sun, and the fool. I'm telling you, for some of you, the ten of pentacles is yours. You are going to get this marriage generational curses. Like, you deserve it. You earned it. You've done the work. Watch the Empress reverse. This masculine energy, he didn't fuck with the wrong bitch. That high priestess reverse, queen of swords reverse is a very uncomfortable combination. I'm telling you, that is a bitch that gives zero fucks. Okay? There is no, like, she wants to, she wants payback on this night of wands. And she, this bitch is not going to rest until she gets it done. This is a dark woman. Like, real shit. That's the Empress Reverse here. And this is why, this is why me personally, like I said, everybody is different. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. Everybody has free will. Everybody makes their own decisions. But I look, I, look if you ask me, my advice would be to you. I would never encourage a woman to stay with a cheating man. I just, I, I don't condone it. Some women feel like cheating ain't a big deal. But for someone like myself, that is an absolute deal breaker. I will not fuck with no cheater. I don't fuck with disloyal people or disloyal shit. That's one of the simplest things that you can do. You mean to tell me? That you're not disciplined enough within yourself to not fuck somebody when you know you got shit to lose. You're too weak to be on my team. I don't fuck around with people like that. Just period. So I would never encourage no woman to stay with a cheating man. And that's because first and foremost, you deserve better. Number two, I am a woman, so I know how it feels to be cheated on. The shit doesn't feel good. And every time that nigga does that shit, it, it just, 
it, it, it kind of like breaks you down a little bit more every time. So why would, why, if I'm, if I'm your friend, if I'm your sister, if I'm your mother, why would I keep encouraging you to engage in something that, that's keep breaking you down? Something that's clearly not healthy for you. I'm not going to encourage you to do that. I'm not going to be like, oh, girl, well, he only did it one time. Like, no, that should be an absolute no-go for you. You should know your worth. You should know better. You deserve better. You deserve more. You need to be with somebody who's going to help you heal your insecurities, not um, dig them deeper or make them worse. You don't deserve to be with nobody who will make insecurities worse for you. Why the fuck would you want to be with somebody like that? Why? And bitches be trying to play that shit down like it ain't that big deal. Well, all oh, men cheat. Bitch, no the fuck they don't. Real divine masculines have real discipline. They don't cheat. They don't got time. A real divine masculine is busy running an empire, bitch. He don't got time to be playing around with no bitches. He don't got time for a bitch to cost him his shit. Real divine masculines don't play around with hoes. They know better. A good example of a divine masculine would be like LeBron James. LeBron J James is a fucking, he's a businessman, entrepreneur, philanthropist. He is a basketball superstar. And he treats he treats his wife with the utmost respect. You ain't never heard about LeBron James being in the media and no goddamn scandal with no, no Jezebel. You ain't never heard about him putting putting savannah in a third party situation like he's a grown ass man with responsibilities he take care of his kids every time and true enough we don't know his whole story you know what i'm saying but from what i've seen he been in this game for a long ass time and you ain't never seen lebron james in the media for anything negative nor his wife that is a real divine masculine and a real divine feminine in union Bitch, it's definitely possible, but you have to do the work on yourself to attract a man like that. A real divine masculine, he's not finna come save you. He's not finna come come choose you, bitch, and you're all broken down and, 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 and fucking withered away from fucking with some loser. Like, bitch, you gotta be stronger than that. Just period. What is this Empress Reverse here? It's like, bitch, you selling your soul for a fucking night of wands? He ain't shit. He's nothing. He can't do shit for you, bitch. He's in because he's literally doing the bare minimum. The night of wands is the wand energy is sexual. So, bitch, what 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 is he doing other than fucking you from time to time? Like, damn, sis, you worth more than that. You don't get a flower. You don't get a date. Like, you got this nigga kids and shit. And, bitch, the only thing he do is drop off some dick here and there. Oh, bitch, you got to do better than that. Empress reverse. That's why I said, like, I would never encourage a woman to stay with a cheating man. I don't give a fuck what a bitch say. I'm not with all that. Oh, girl, well, you should stick it out. That is the father of your kids. That is your husband. Bitch, it don't make a difference what his title is. I'm never going to encourage somebody that I care about. To stay in a situation where she getting dogged out and disrespected. Period. So a bitch may not like to hear that. But that's what the fuck I'm going to tell you. And that's gonna, what the fuck is going to be the truth. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting on what? Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, nine of swords here. They somebody know they fucked up out here, bro. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at this nigga. King of Wands reverse in in the um. What's this? King of Wands reverse in the Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is somebody. Well, this is somebody who they got a smart ass mouth. This is somebody who like verbally attacks you. They're a bully. They cuss you out. They got an anger or a temper problem. They're really insecure. They do too much. They're a hoe. They like to be outside. King of Wands Reverse is very ghetto, very low vibrational. It's like a a, 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 a ramen noodle for breakfast eating motherfucker. Like, uh-uh. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, it's important. Self-care, all that shit is important. Diet is important. Your sexual health is important. This is somebody who will fuck anybody if they stroking his ego and get him the right attention. Or he think he the man or some shit because he got a criminal history or he was out here doing something stupid. Like, this, this person's a joke. Like, real shit. Or this person's trying to chase you now and it's not a wands energy, but you're like, hell no, you're running away from this person. Why is the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Wands? This person's very careless and, and reckless. Yeah, seven of cups of Yeah, because the illusion is over. Like, nobody is confused about who the fuck you are. This karmic feminine energy, like, people know what's up with y'all. They know you have low standards. They know you accept anything. They know you're just whatever the fuck you need. We know you're codependent. Like, all of that shit is no secret now. The seven of cups is in reverse. The illusion is over. People are seeing everybody for who the fuck they are. This is the age of Aquarius. Like, real shit. There is no more illusion. Why's the seven of cups here? Somebody's a criminal in a thought. They're a hoe. A Jezebel. A, Le a Leviathan spirit. Yeah, this person does sex magic. King of Wands reverse. He's a he's a, a warlock. This is somebody who practices sex magic. So this is a type of cheating, lying ass nigga who when they fuck bitches, they actually make love to them. It's sex matters. They be out here slanging dick, making these bitches fall in love with them with no intent to be consistent. It's all for an ego boost to feed off of their energy. And then these bitches be all lost and confused. Well, you don't give a fuck about me. Why was you fucking me like that? Why was we kissing in the mouth when we was fucking and shit? This bitch, he's a hoe. That's what he do. Like real shit. Seven of Wands versus somebody who ain't got no boundaries. They they they'll never say no to a bitch as long as she's stroking his ego. So this would be the ugliest bitch on the planet. This would be the weirdest bitch on the planet. But I'm telling you, the bitch give him a compliment and she riding his dick and all up in his face and stroking his ego. Oh my god, you so fine. You the best person I ever met. Da da da. He he fucking. He has no morals at all. Shit is sad and embarrassing. Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, this person folded. They didn't stand on business. Seven of Wands reverse is literally folding on your beliefs. Seven of Wands reverse is also this scandal has been exposed. Whatever they were doing, whatever they involved in, how they were cheating, how they were juggling somebody, it's all been exposed. Two of Swords reverse. Mm -hmm. But they don't want you to know that. Moon card, they want to hide that from you. Yeah, look at that death card. This shit is over. It's a permanent ending. You motherfuckers, this scandal has been exposed. This third party, what the fuck you were doing to the collective or how you tried to treat the collective, this shit is all exposed. It's real shit. That's why these karmic people are stuck with each other. Like, they're going to take... they These karmic people are going to take each other out before they ever get access to the divine ones again. They they These people will die... Before they get to misuse the divine collective again. Just period. Yeah. Tower. Queen of Wands. Yeah. This Queen of Wands reverse. And the King of Wands reverse. She's so shocked about what's being exposed by this person. She can't believe it. Queen of Wands reverse. Or she could be having some type of mental or emotional breakdown. It's like she's just so pissed. It could even be three bitches involved. Because the King of Wands is reversed out here, but he's the only man. You got a King of Wands reverse, a Queen of Wands reverse, a High Priestess reverse, and, a, and an Empress reverse. It could be up to three bitches. One of them could be pregnant with that Empress reverse. By this same man, he's a whore. A like real shit. He been doing sex magic on all these bitches, bro. Like real shit. Yeah, and I'm hearing that, that it's an STD going around too. These bitches, they trying to figure out who gave who what or where they got this from or what bitch gave it to him and all this type of shit. Mm -mm. Why, is, why is the death card here? Something's over. Yeah, Ten of Wands with these people, or they, they are burdened. They are struggling. This is a grueling experience. Everybody involved in this shit, they're stressed out, overwhelmed, ready to give up and collapse and shit. Yeah, world card. I told you. This shit is over. World card. It's a done deal. 
chapter closed. Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. The lesson has been learned. And the motherfuckers that didn't learn the lessons, they're just getting left the fuck behind in this Ten of Wands. How's the Knight of Wands here? Mm -hmm. It's like there is no more fighting. There is no more arguing. Mm -mm, this is sad and embarrassing. How's the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles reverse. This person has not done the work on themselves. They're so fucking lazy and unskilled and they just don't like to work hard. They have a poor work ethic or wherever they work it, they don't make a lot of money. So it's like they don't give a fuck about it for real. They don't put no effort in for real because it's like, shit, I don't make a lot of money anyway. Yeah, look at that. Page of Wands reverse. I told you. This is this. This is this STD shit. Page of Wands reverse. So that could be another reason. This person's like, Shit, what I'm going to work on myself for? Shit, now that I got this shit, I might as well just be a hoe. <laughs> this, this person knows that they're damaged goods, that they're washed up. Why is the page of wands reverse? Yeah, queen of pentacles. Yeah, somebody or this person wants your attention hella bad. Page of wands reverse and the queen of pentacles. You're over here minding your business. You're the only fucking one in the upright. Queen of Pentacles upright. You're focused on your business. You're minding your business. Focus on your career and your investments, on your stability, your house, your home, whatever the fuck this is. You're focused on what's important. Prioritizing your shit. And it's a whole fucking mess out here. All because this one man who really, truly wanted to be with you, but they were too insecure. And they were too busy trying to do you dirty. And, I mean, this shit is just a fucking mess. Like, dog, like, whew, I would not want to be a part of that shit. Like, real shit. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, a tower here. I feel like you are shocked. This shit is being exposed, like, left and right. And I feel like you're just, like, looking at this shit. Like, looking at these people fall out of this fucking tower. Like, oh, my fucking God. People houses could be burning down and shit. I'm picking up on house fires and shit. I'm talking about people are just losing shit. Like real shit. They're getting exposed. People are just losing shit. It's just people are just taking major losses. Yeah, nine of wands reverse. Yeah, and somebody is pissed. They're resentful. They're holding a grudge towards you. Cause this is somebody who's hard headed. They don't learn from their past and they got a chip on their shoulder. They're mad. They're projecting. They got an attitude and shit. But why? Yeah, three of pentacles. Because you're working with somebody else. You're building something else. <laughs> or they could be triggered by this platform that you have. This three of pentacles. Yeah, hang man. Because they're stuck. Yeah, nine of wands. And they're just a loser now. A straight bum. Knight of Pentacles reverse and a hangman. This is somebody who keeps repeating the same the same pattern over and over and over again. Every time they get with another bitch or another man, they do the same fucking shit. They're a user. They like to leech off of people. That's why I said somebody's a leech. And they attach themselves to everybody that they get with. Use them until the person figure out they ain't shit to get rid of them. And then they go, they go find the next motherfucker. This is why this person is in the, in the hangman reverse. Because they won't stop doing this shit. This person's fucking lazy. They don't want to change. They're a loser. And you're out here winning. You're in your winning season with the Six of Wands. Yeah, you're not interested in this person. Ace of Wands reverse. You're just like, ew. They are not interested in you. Yeah, Emperor reverse. Look at that. Emperor reverse and the King of Cups reverse. This somebody hella thirsty. Likes to victimize themselves. They cheat. They lie. They lack integrity. They lack direction. They're emotionally unstable. They're abusive. They could be emotionally abusive, very manipulative, like the gaslight and shit, very insecure. Like this person is, woo child, a mess. Yeah, I feel like I feel like all I feel like divine feminine or divine masculine, all your exes, anybody that you ever dated that it didn't work out with up until this point, every single one of them that you learned a lesson from, they all left you to go to lower situations i feel like none of your exes are doing better than you they all have 
downgrade it to something that's like not even a thing. You heard that horn? Period. All your exes have downgraded. They're stuck with karmics and shit. Like that is just crazy. Yeah, it's like divine feminine. You're just like, fuck no. Temperance, I'm moving the fuck on. These people are narcissistic and they gaslighters and shit. They lie. So the people see you winning the star with the sun and the six of wands and the queen of pentacles and the wheel of fortune upright. I'm telling you, when you get on top of this wheel, be prepared for all the fake ass apologies and shit that you're going to get. Period. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here because this video is already hella long. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.